Hey farmers, still see a lot of people getting confused about me bouquets. They don't really know how to get them. They don't really know what are their uses and they're just having so many problems with it. So in this video, I'm going to make sure that I clarify every problem or every confusion that you guys have about the meat bouquet. Like how you can get it, where are you going to use it, is it profitable or not, and just the general information about the product. So let's get started with the game. I'm just going to harvest this my... I've not been replanting them, which is very important because you have to make sure that you restock your crops because crops are really important as well. Um, and if you have baby farms, that's okay. But since I don't, I mean, I do have baby farms, but most of the crops I have to manage on my own. So I have to plant them. Now, let's just go with the cucumbers. As you guys can see, I've only got 73, so I do need more of them. And then I can go with, um, let's just go with some passion fruits. Yeah, I always need in 200 of these so i'm just gonna plant them let's have a look at the visitors here asking for my excess we're just gonna say no and uh, this lady needs some eggplants i'm gonna say no as well let's just send some thank you letters and we're gonna collect our okay let's collect some honeycombs and some dead nectar bushes which i'm just gonna be cutting and some of them are asking for revives so we're gonna put some help on them and i would purchase two more nectar bushes like this Okay, let's make some dairy products. We can make some cream and butter. Let's collect some bakery items. And oops, I think I need more wheat. So let me just check the paper to see if I can get some wheat. And someone just revived my bushes. Well, thank you for that. And okay, let's check the paper. So, um, I don't know, but I don't see a lot of people selling corn for a few days. I don't know. Do you guys see the same problem? Like, I cannot find corn in the paper. There are lots of indigos, there are lots of apples, but corn, I don't know, it's so crazy. Usually it's the wheat that I can't find, but sometimes I just, I don't know, It's I think it's pretty random. There's no logic on these things. Wow, I just got two cheese, hopefully. I don't know, yay, I just got it. Okay, there's one uh, carrot pie, but unfortunately the wheat has been sold. Not a problem, and as I said, the apples are always there. I don't know why. I think I'm just going to get back on my farm to see if there's anything else that I can do. All right, we're back on my farm, and I was just going to collect some basic products that I always need to run, like olive oil. I always need some, just going to put some olive oil there, and then I can just make some donuts probably. I don't think I'm going to make it because I, I already don't have enough uh, wheat, so I'm going to take the risk, and I can just put some lemon lotions in there because I'm trying to fully master my bath kiosk, so I'm always making lots of soaps like... You guys can see I have 36 of the honey face masks, which is very unusual because I don't keep that much uh, quantity of any products in the game. I might as well sell them to make money. Okay, now coming to the main topic of this video, the meat bouquet guide. So first of all, what is the meat bouquet? So meat bouquet is an animal feeding product uh, on a reputation level 3 in the town. You only get it when you unlock your carnivorous animals in the game. So what are the carnivorous animals in the game? Let's go to my sanctuary and I'm going to be showing you guys my carnivorous animals. So currently we have two types of carnivorous animals in the game. We have the arctic foxes and we have the cheetahs. I've already unlocked my arctic fox but I still have not unlocked my cheetah. So which I'll do later. But you use these meat buckets to feed these animals just like you use your wheat bundles to feed your other sanctuary animals. Like you feed the wheat bundles to giraffes, elephants, zebras and other animals. So let's just have a look at some general information about them. So you can make the meat bucket in your farm's feed mill. You guys can see that they're just sitting there ready to be collected and basically it's a blue colored bucket which is filled up with big chunks of meat and carrots so i'm just going to collect them and collecting each meat bucket which is basically three because you make three meat buckets at one time gives you 15 experience points which is not a lot it's just fine now where you can find the meat bucket well this is your first page of uh, the feed meal products where you can make you know the cow feed the chicken feed pig feed sheep feed and goat feed you just have to tap the switch button which is right below and here you can see the meat bucket with the wheat bundles so like wheat bundles take 75 wheat to be produced meat buckets take five carrots and three fish fillets to be produced and they take 45 minutes on a non-fully mastered machine and 38 minutes on a fully mastered feed mill uh, like my feed mill is fully mastered so i can make the meat buckets just in 38 minutes and i must say that's a lot of fish fillets this product is definitely not really easy to make like fish fillets are so rare and then again five carrots a lot of carrots and fish fillets if you want to make some meat 
of case. But then again, you don't have to make them because you are not going to be getting a lot of uses of them. You only use the meat bucket to feed your foxes and cheetahs. So let me just go to my sanctuary again, and I'm going to feed my fox. I'm going to show you guys how much XP do I get. So, okay. And then we're just going to talk about some of the problems that people have about the meat bucket and some of the confusions that people always get. Okay, so you can see that this is my arctic fox. I've just unlocked the white arctic fox right now. You just have to... Tap on our house. Okay, what's my reindeer doing here? Come on, reindeer, go away. Once you tap on the fox's house, you can see with the whistle, there's a meat bucket, and you just put that into her house, and there she's just gonna eat it, and she's gonna enjoy the meat and carrots, and then she's gonna go to sleep, and then again, I can feed it. So, you use the meat bucket to feed the carnivorous animals, and currently in the game, we have two types of carnivorous animals. We have the foxes, and we have the cheetahs, and she's just gonna run away, and she's gonna come back to sleep. So, there she is. As you guys can see, she's running and she's just going to come back again and she's going to sleep. That's going to give me 25 XP. So that was the use of the Meat Bucket. Now, first of all, Meat Bucket was added into the game back in June 2021. Last year, when the foxes were not even added, so we actually got the Meat Bucket first. And so many people started questioning, like, what is Meat Bucket? I have Meat Bucket in my feed meal. What do I do? What are its uses? So Meat Bucket was just added by a mistake. But then Hayden removed it. It didn't stay quite long. It just, I think it stayed probably for three to four days. Um, it just came here and people were getting really confused. And so maybe this was some sort of a sneak peek to the upcoming, you know, October update. So what happened next? In last year's October update, which was the fall update, we got the Arctic Foxes. And with them, of course, we were going to get the meat bucket. So what happened when the June, I'm um, sorry, the October update dropped? We got the foxes, but we also got the meat buckets. Now, in my opinion, that was not a good step because they should not have had really added the meat bucket first because they should have had waited for people to unlock the foxes because it's not really easy to unlock the animals. You already have giraffe, you know, elephants and everything. And especially if you're a low-level player, it's going to take you a long time to unlock the foxes. So they just added the meat buckets there and people started making them like crazy. Find it out right now. So meat buckets, 10 goes for... 72 coins. So I've done my calculations and according to them, meat bucket is not really profitable to sell because you're going to get a loss of almost 20 coins. So it's not really profitable to sell them. And I'm just going to be selling it. So this is how it looks like when you sell your meat buckets. But it's not profitable at all. Also, the fish fillets are really hard to get and you use a lot of carrots. So it's better to just sell the fish fillets and carrots themselves if you want to make some coins. But then again, I never recommend selling fish fillets. You better use them to make products and sell them. So you should not sell meat bucket. Okay, so what happened? A lot of people started making uh, meat buckets like crazy. They didn't even know its uses. So they were just like, oh, we're going to make them. We're going to sell them. All of a sudden, what happened? Haiti removed meat buckets from the game back in November. Now, that's where the main problem started. That was the main problem, that people were not able to sell their meat buckets and they were not able to collect it. So in the beginning, you guys saw that there were meat buckets sitting on my feed mill to be collected and I was able to collect it. But the people who had made them back in November, for almost two days, they were not able to collect the meat bucket. Like, it was just not tapping, right? And they were not able to make any other feed mill products. So that was a complete disaster, and they really had to suffer a lot. So fortunately, I did not make a lot of meat buckets because I knew that it was completely useless to make the meat buckets, right? Because you only feed them to foxes, and I had not even unlocked the fox, so I thought I'm not going to make them. Now, another question that people ask are, a lot of people have confusions, like, why we cannot sell our meat buckets? So yes, it's true that if you had made some meat buckets in the game before November, and then hated to do the maintenance to remove the meat buckets, so all the meat buckets that you had in your barn, they're going to stay right there. So for almost three months, I had in my barn 30 meat buckets that I was not able to sell. Like, it just did not sell. The reason is very obvious. You still have not unlocked the foxes, and you won't be able to sell any meat buckets until you unlock the fox. So first, you have to unlock the fox, and then you'll be able to sell the meat buckets in your roadside shop, which I think is crazy because it really takes a lot of space in your barn, and maybe if you're a low player, and it will take you years to unlock the fox... That's something I think Hades should really take a look again and maybe do a maintenance to kind of remove them from the barn. But it really didn't bother me. I already had a high barn and I was actually able to manage everything in the game. The reason you see them in your barn is because you made them. Why are you not able to sell them? Because you still have not unlocked the fox and... When you want to sell them, you'll have to unlock any of the foxes, or you can also unlock the cheetahs first. For that, you'll have to collect puzzle 
pieces, that's going to be a long time. So until then, there's no other way that you can get rid of them. They're just going to stay in your barn. And just that's it. That's all about the meat bucket. So um, yeah, I think those are the main questions that people ask. But other than that, it's not really that great to fully master your feed mill. I mean, I assume that your feed mill would already be fully mastered until you reach the stage uh, that you unlock the fox because, because you're only going to unlock the foxes if you're a high level player. So yeah, but I don't really recommend making a lot of them because they're going to cost you a lot of fish fillets. And I also don't recommend selling them because they are not profitable at all. So don't sell them. And you can also not find them in the paper. So that was all about the meat bucket in the game. Just going to summarize everything that I said. Meat bucket was added into the game for the first time in June 2021, which was a mistake. Then Harry removed it. They came back in the game in... October 2021 boxes and there it caused a lot of problems because people were not able to sell them people just started you know making them and then they were also not able to collect it so hey did it intends to uh, modify and to correct all the problems that had been introduced in the game but still if uh, the implicates were in your barn at that time they are still going to stay in your barn until you unlock the fox so that's all you need to know about the meat bucket in the game I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you still have any more questions or if you think that I've missed any of the points, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more hated videos and guides like these coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.